What's going on everyone, Bob Barks here, and welcome to round two of the Tilu World Cup. Like I've said before, everyone moves into round two, and these are the 2v2s, and today we are kicking it off with Turkey versus Ireland. Who names a country after a Christmas dinner? Seriously, Turkey. String Bill is representing. He's getting absolutely ruined with a body shot from an... Excellent Irishman in Kieran W99. I can tell you, ladies and gentlemen, that it is 30 degrees here in England and I am sweating like a German FM player trying to pop his zits. I'm not even going to pronounce this guy's name, so we're just going to call him S2. There's all sorts of shenanigans going off here. Absolutely ruined here. Somebody's left his microphone audio on as well. Extreme bellendiness. I have no idea what language this is in. It doesn't sound Turkish, otherwise I'd just be hearing gobble gobble. And it looks like Kieran for Ireland got that kill, but Ireland do trail. And we're switching over to Gods 68 here. I wonder why I didn't take Gods 69. Maybe 68 was the year he was born. Maybe he's an old man. Whereas Kieran was probably born in 99, making him a very young man. Rather scary if he is born in 99. How old does that make him? Does that make him 19? It probably does. Dear me. Throwable cities. Bit of a standoff going on. Gods is playing with a semi, which is interesting. Not seen use that before. Uh, for those of you that don't know, the burst and the variable was banned in this round. Hence why you're not going to see any of those weapons. Uh, we also banned first aid training and reviver uh, in a bid to try and make the games go a bit quicker. We thought if somebody got a shot in. Landed a body shot or something like that, that we'd see well the other team rush a bit more, knowing that heals would take a long time to, uh, to get back. My god, look at this absolute scrubbery from Turkey. Uh, I can tell you that String Bill and uh, Simon, I'm going to call him, Billy and, our Billy and Simon uh, are actually brothers. And the Dutch. <laughs> Holy kidding. They live in the Netherlands, but they are Turkish. Five spawns down now for Ireland. I did expect more from Gods and Kieran. They're both very, very good players. Uh, it might be the fact that the burst and the variable has been banned. Gods does normally favour the burst rifle. Not sure what Kieran tends to like using. Doesn't seem that adept with a hunting rifle so far in this one. It's not a good position to be in. Got a bit of a standoff going here. Neither team prepared to make the move. Ireland really ought to move in. That is a fantastic Molotov and he's managed to dodge the other one. He's got Crafter on as well. What an amazing perk for a 2v2. Oh my god, how did he miss with that Molotov? 
Island get the kill. Double teamed. Shit. And they're now back within three. Approaching the halfway mark. Uh, I can also tell you that the 2v2s, uh, you'll probably see different maps. Uh, these games are from Group B, which I was the admin for. Which is why you'll probably see more games than... What on earth happened there? Somebody got a launcher? Yep. There's a launcher. There's another throwable. All sorts of throwables going on. Look at that reviver though. <laughs> Shut up. There's only room for one commentator here. Quiet boy. Quiet boy. Anyone played God of War? What a fantastic game. Oh, that is a lovely headshot from String Bill, and he managed to dodge the Molotov. And launcher coming in. Poor old gods is getting beasted by the launcher. Good tactic, to be fair, from the uh, from the Turks. And that Simon's bloody fully armoured up, and he's got a double upgraded frontier. No, he hasn't. It's a single upgraded frontier. Tell a lie. Oh my god, poor old gods is going to get... <laughs> oh dear. Look at these Irish boys. Come on, Ireland, what are you doing? You're getting buggered by a country named after a Christmas dinner. Ridiculous. Okay, we're seeing gods is fully armoured up now, and he's got his El Diablo. No match though for a launcher. Launcher is the best purchasable in the game. Fact. Gods, you've got one in the pink and one in the stink. So it is wide. That one lands though. Look at all these throwables. <laughs> Crafter craft going to good use. Another Molotov. And melee stick. Nice. Take his helmet off, gods. No? Don't bother them. <laughs> you made it running with a hunting rifle, God. You could do with taking all his off. Did he just call him a noob? Get wrecked, gods. You just got called a noob. By a guy running with a frontier and a launcher. <laughs> Go on, go on, do him in the front seat. Look at the accuracy with that thing. And then he throws it in the launcher. Oh, nice, God's nice. I don't think Simon was best pleased. Simon not please. Why are you not taking his helmet off, God? What's going on? You really are a noob. Pulled it back to within one though. It's nice shooting by string bill. It's actually pretty good with his hunting rifle string bill. He gets a lot of criticism, does um, old Billy, for playing with an attack shotgun. And he's actually a decent player. When you thought the Irish boys were getting back into it, they just get mopped up. Oh, they were trying to throw a bomb, I think, was going on there. Oh, dear. And they're down by a three with a minute to go. They need a squad wide. Desperately. More throwables. Just hundreds and hundreds of throwables. Oh, he, was here again. he has got one. They need to press him and get the other one. They can't let him get away. I think God's has got him with a bitch stick. He has. 30 seconds left. Simon's got a Molotov. Irish boys need to press. Simon's happy to back off. Did he just shoot the bomb? That is not a bad launcher. Backing off, backing off, backing off. Molotovs are out again. Is he going to get it? He's got it! 
Kieran's got it, but he's gone down. Gods needs to run in. Gods, you need to run in. Gods, what are you doing? Oh, first, he got first aid love. <laughs> oh, God, he got it in the end, but it's too late. Turkey win, the flag is ablaze. Congratulations to Simon and Billy. Thanks for watching, guys. See you all in the next one. Bye for now. Hi, I'm Vaughan Williams, and today I'm doing a commentary on this on the nether ending fucking Tilu tournament. And apparently this is the World Cup and it's uh, Turkey versus Czech Republic and Peru. What are they but what aren't they doing to get together? When I think of, you know, two countries aligned by language and culture, it's the Czechs and the Peruvians. I mean, who who can <laughs> when you picture Kafka in Wenzler Square in Prague writing the Metamorphoses, the next thing you instantly think of is Paddington Bear fucking about in Machu Picchu. Um, so this guy is using a frontier. Um, right, I apologise to um, the players playing, uh, and indeed to any of you sort of uh, to any of the Peruvians, Czechs, or Turks watching. Uh, because I, I I can't watch this nonsense, and I, we're going to talk about something else. Um, so what what could we talk about? Um, my training boy Janus um, won the one v one tournament um, to continue his uh, quest to become the most overrated player in Team Luke. So that was quite good. Um, my team won the 4v4 tournament in pretty fortuitous circumstances um, and yeah it was alright I mean the problem with participating in these tournaments is um, very difficult to actually get the games when we were playing against Latino scrubs um, the majority of the communication was done with Bell and like most people Bell just wanted to play Fortnite so a few times instead of playing the match we actually just played Fortnite instead um, but oh, what should we discuss um, we talk about how there's literally no decent content for Tilu anymore um, be a bit unfair though wouldn't it because sort of have to call out specific names not just marks um, talk about the reddit I had a little look at that earlier it's amusing amusing shit I know I know what we can talk about. Uh, we can talk about Tilu 2 um, and the, the gameplay, the cinematics, and all the stuff that was presented at um, E3, I believe it was. Uh, but if we're going to do that, I suppose I should start off with my clarifying position, which is that, and I realise that I'm in a, a, I'm in a huge minority here. Um, if, I don't know if minorities can be huge. It sounds. Sounds rather paradoxical. Anyway, um, I rate The Last of Us as a 7 out of 10 um, in terms of the single player. Uh, but I didn't really think the story was particularly good. I thought the game gameplay mechanics weren't great. Um, I, I didn't, I'm not, not saying it's a bad game. I just think it's incredibly um, overrated and um, a viable target for criticism. So... You can imagine that um, I received the trailer for Tilu 2 slightly less positively than I'm sure you all do. And if you think that Tilu is the best game ever or in your top five games, I understand why you'd think that. Perfectly fine. But we saw the trailer, um, and the, the second I saw it, I instantly felt my heart sink because it was um, Ellie surrounded by lots of people and lights. And I think that the, basically the first scene in Tilu, uh, the first game, is Sarah in the dark by herself, and I was like, "Oh, okay, this this is this is what we've got to now. We're just going to do things in reverse, um, and to claim that that's some sort of narrative technique." But we get that. There's loads of people. They're at a disco. This sort of like, I don't know, like lesbian enabler girl runs around goes oh, I should dance and like oh my god you know the boys are looking at you and then they have a snog and um, this is seen I've, I've seen some reaction uh, 
to this, like, you know, videos and press coverage. And I've seen people getting very emotional that um, Ellie is a confirmed lesbian and talking about how brave it was. I just... I, did, I didn't think it was brave. And I saw these, stand these standing ovations and people getting really... Um, uh, worked up about two na two teenage girls missing. I mean, they should come and check what I've got on my computer because that there's, there's more than a standing ovation there. But um, I didn't. You know, is, is that brave? I mean, cause for me, what I th think would have been brave is um, if that had been Bill and uh, and Joel, with like you know Joel jogging all Bill and all the boys are watching us. Bill going, they're looking at you. And then they start snogging and twerking and things. That would have been the reaction to that would have been amazing. Uh, uh, but like, what what else? I mean, one of the big problems that I have with uh, single player narratives at the moment in in terms of games is that, with the uh, exception of um, uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, the the robot dinosaurs, um, most most of these games, I just think that. Um, the, the people who make them are just they're, they're quite ignorant like um, in what they do like I think that the um, the people who made the last of us have very little understanding of what a narrative is um, and I, you know like so for example I um, I've always uh, I've always been surprised that Ellie's been labeled uh, a lesbian because one time when she was like 11 years old she kissed a girl. Um, I don't, unfortunately, I don't decide the standards for sexuality and things like that. I think we all agree that I should do, but I don't. But I very much doubt that that makes you a lesbian. But in the eyes of um, uh, the people who make this game, these kind of, they, it's like the characters uh, are static with no development. And um, uh, in The Last of Us, there is no character development at all. Um, but what happens is that there's meant to be some relationship development. But Joel has to be the most boring fucking character in a, in a single-player narrative ever. I mean, like, all right, his daughter died, and that's literally it. There's nothing else about it. Um, but I think... What, what I think the problem is, and I think Uncharted 4 suffered uh, from this problem as well is that the people who make these games uh, don't read or if they do read it's got sections for like coloring in and puzzles and stuff um, and that they that all of their sort of cultural touchstones are uh, from television and the thing is, is that television by definition is ep episodic right and so you'd think well done, would go. be games because you can't play uncharted 4 in one long sitting um, but yet yeah, it's presented as if as if you could and it's like it's literally like they've seen stuff on the TV and gone, yo, look at that, that's amazing. In fact, isn't that how they did The Last of Us? Didn't they watch a David Attenborough documentary? And one of them was like, oh, that's gross, let's make a game on that. And then the guy was like, oh, yeah, I've, I, I, I thought of this game for years. It sounds like a lot of bollocks when they talk about The Last of Us. Like They've said, um, oh, the first game is based on love and the second one's based on hate. What part of the first game is based on love? That sounds like revisionist nonsense to me um, and it also makes me wonder if Joel is going to get killed by Ellie which I'll give you that would be quite good fun I'd, I'd enjoy, I'd enjoy um, that to happen in the game but anyway yeah I think these people uh, just read comics and watch TV um, and it seems to be a common theme um, these days that like, if people read it's essentially just a children's book uh, so this will be. This is something that I will check. I'll be interested in this. Could you leave um, in the comments the last book you read? I just. I mean, like, it doesn't have to. You know, you don't have to be reading fucking Proust or Paradise Lost or like The Divine Comedy or anything like that. Like, I'd just be quite interested to see um, what what people are reading, as it were, for fun. Because uh, I'm becoming increasingly worried, like the old man I am, that uh, that. The lack of people reading um, is leading to a decline in the quality of entertainment in every different genre. Um, let's look at this game. 10-5 um, to the Turks. Wonderful. Uh, and how, how much is left? minute and a half left. Um, what else? Is there anything else worth mentioning? Uh, Tele 2 multiplayer. 
probably going to see that at Christmas or something and hopefully it will be completely different. I think it's fair to say that most people um, want, basic, for some reason, want the same fucking thing again but with different graphics. Uh, I suspect people will be playing this um, this game, Tilu, for a very long time. I think people will just keep playing it because it seems that the community is unable to play other games. Um, right, we've got about 30 seconds, so thanks uh, for listening. Um, well done to the Czechs and the Peruvians. I hope you've done it for... I know they've lost quite, quite convincingly. Well done to the Turks. Um, you've really let Paddington bear down here, Peru. Uh, that's right. Yeah, fuck this. Um, bye. Hello everyone, this is Sidekick and today we have a 2v2 match on the Tilo World Cup between Turkey and Panama and Poland. So in Turkey we have Samiton, I think it's uh, how it's called, and Stringbill. Here we have Sami marking with the frontier, trying to get those shots, he gets a body shot. He's gonna move up to help Stringbill. Stringbill with the hunting rifle gets the headshot. What a clean headshot by Stringbill. I think he's been on previous tournaments on, on the Tilo community. I remember seeing him. They have to rush the they have to rush the other guy from Panama Poland. Which is Magna. Magna with the hunting rifle. He's gonna have a hard time here trying to run away. But it's too late and Turkey get a two spawn lead right at the start. String bill here. There's a mark by Magna. And body shots. Magna gets body shot and then body shots. Beautiful waiting game here. Again, body shots, can't get the edge shot. Very tense. Again, POV of Sammy with the frontier rifle. He's gonna throw a bomb. And the smoke comes out as well. There's a guy down in Panama Poland. And Sammy's gonna rush this last guy. And they get him, Turkey, get another squad wipe, and it's 2016 now, Turkey getting an healthy lead right at the start of the game, it's important. Stringbill, I think I see something, gets the mark, great headshot, great headshot by Stringbill, very competent. Uh, anti rifle player. Bombs are being thrown. Oh, and I think Stringbill shot the bomb there. And yeah, another squad wipe 2014. We didn't even reach the 10 minutes and and another one. Another one. Yeah, 12, 12 now for Panama Poland. They're getting wrecked by Turkey. That's the mark from Sami. Yeah, they're getting the good use of Hawkeye. As you can see. Again, again, highlighting the other. It's much easier to get the shots in. And oh, and Panama Poland get the first kill of the game by Magna. So it's not gonna be flawless. But Sammy, yeah. Sammy takes care of the job right after, so. 1910 now. It's a bomb out from Sammy. Again, some marks. 
Stringle throws a bomb. It's a good bomb. It gets. Sammy helps. Yeah, it's a great teamwork. Great teamwork by Turkey. They're definitely, they're definitely well coordinated, and it makes a lot of difference in this kind, of, this kind of encounters. Great shots by Stringbill with the revolver, and there, yeah. There's a flank on the last guy, and it works out perfectly. They get another kill, and. Uh, yeah, 8 minutes, it's 19-6, Panama Poland are gonna have a really hard time getting this one back, but still possible, let's see. Yeah, they get a shot there, string bill marking, waiting for the ad to pop up, it does but it gets the body shot, not what he wanted. And a body shot. It, it, it seems like an headshot, but it's registering as a it's registering as a body shot. And Sammy gets the flank again here. It's it's very well played from them. Very coordinated. And Sammy doing a flawless 7 12 0. Great score. Seven minutes, 19-4. I think, I think they'll they'll run out of spawns before the time runs up. String bill. Thinking about a molly. He throws the molly. He gets it. Great molly. Now they're gonna rush the last guy exactly. He's trying to get the molly. Oh, and the yeah. end. No, but Sammy just takes care of the job. Yeah, they're playing well. Turkey is a great team, very well coordinated. 19-2, 6 minutes to go. Again, using that frontier. Quick shots from Sammy. He's gonna get that ammo from the box. Magna waiting. He's gonna throw smoke. That's not a good smoke. He tries to get the 9 mil action, but. Oh, he gets it. He gets. He gets someone down, but. Yeah. String Bill. Yeah, he's gonna get the revive. Still, only one death for Turkey. And. Uh, yeah, Panama Poland are out of spawns. Oh, the combo, cheeky combo from Stringbill. And now, yeah, Sammy again, trying to do the flank. It's very well played. Using Gawkai, and there it is, Turkey. Very good performance. I'm Psychic, see you later guys.